much like just like a sleeve like that, a piece of plastic like that could make a game worth. Yeah, it's a cool sleeve because it it makes the it makes the the goggles that are red already on Fisher like they disappear. It's actually super cool. It's actually, it's probably what it's my favorite box art of them all. Afternoon. What's up, Lance? What we got going on here? Talk to me, Goose. Oh, we're getting innkeepers. Good. Yeah, it's my favorite cover by far of all of them. I also own like four copies of the original Splinter Cell too. Pretty dumb. Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, I can get some this bread and cheese right Oliver, now. and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about, the Lord of a Manor. We were passing through his all and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty, and we had some barrels in the back, and... I am no lord, and these are my mm. friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with the cart full of spirits for sale? We were Never innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military... Well, the only reason I had so many copies of Splinter Cells is because I'd go to, like, Goodwill, hey, you should settle here. and, like, they'd we be, like, a dollar. An so I'd just buy them. We would. I, I ended up, like, I have my original choice. copy from a kid, and, and I have, like, five others just because I bought them for a dollar. For something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. I actually really wanted to play the Splinter Cell games on PS3, but, uh, I don't have... A working PS3, so I can this give you. This should suffice. Here you go. Have a thousand dollars. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Anything, anything gaming related is expensive now. Bucks. I haven't. Oh fuck. I haven't been. I don't know why I'm out fucking like I wear my Fitbit, but I'm I'm allergic to the band on my Fitbit. It's like the Fitbit has like this rubbery band to it, but there's some sort of chemical in this like rubber that my skin does not like, so it makes my skin really itchy. Oh, Yeah, if I ever found a PS TV, I'd buy one. I have no no want to ever use one, but I definitely would buy one just to have it. It would sit in a box and collect dust like everything else. Like I would love to have a working PS3. Like, I have a PS3, it's over there, but it doesn't fucking work. Like, I, you, you all remember that stream we did of me, like, taking apart the PS3 and re-thermal pasting everything? Apparently it needs re-thermal pasted again, because it overheats. I don't fucking understand at all. That bulky piece of shit. So, like, I would love to have a working PS3. The, the shitty thing is that the PS3s are so fucking expensive. Yeah, it's the backwards compatible first gen PS3. Like, I have gotten it to work in the past. Like, you, you, we all saw it work when I, when I fixed it on stream. Like, I played Bad Company 2 on it. Karma, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. See, 120 to me is even too expensive itself. for a PS3. 
As you wish. Like you can buy an Xbox 360 for like fifty dollars, but yeah, a PS3 is still over a hundred dollars. Like. I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to. If Sony, if if Sony had an ounce of fucking brain brain juice. They would they would just put PS3 games up on the PlayStation Store and just put like some sort of emulator on the PS5. Oh, I'm about to get explosive. This is how we're gonna adventure through the rest of the underground. Where did you buy your slim from, from the, the store in town? If my retro store had a PS3 slim, I would, uh, I'd buy it from them. Yeah, see, like, I would buy a console off eBay, but the shipping is so fucking expensive. I've only ever bought two systems off of eBay. I bought a Game Boy Advance off eBay. And I bought a Famicom off eBay. Only two systems I ever bought. Spin move. Yeah, that's what I would probably do too. Is I'd probably throw an SSD in into the PS3. Climb the tree, stupid. Can you not jump to the side there? No. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably put a SSD into the PS3. I'm terrified of replacing the hard drive in the PS4 for the sake of losing PT. <laughs> if I if I did not have PT on this PS4, I would have replaced the hard drive years ago with an SSD with a big SSD. But the fact that this hard drive has PT on it, I'm terrified of replacing the hard drive. Cuz I still play P PT quite a bit. It's my go-to game whenever I'm bored and don't know what to play. I I'm sure there is, but I'm terrified. I'm just terrified of losing it. Norris, I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Yeah, that's the only reason this PS4 doesn't have an SSD in it. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no husband? Not that I'm aware of. Fucking Chuck Norris over before. here. I would like to know her better. Smitten. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. You're the one walking in the water, idiot. I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. But problem. We blew it up. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Duck and cover. <laughs> ah, that's a nice one. Thank you. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. Duck and cover. Blam. Wonder if the content manager program works. Yeah. 
Or I just keep the hard drive in the PS4 and just let it live its life the way, the way it is right now. I have never done this in AC3. This is not familiar to me at all. I see where I'm supposed to go. Oh. This is some fucking Assassin's Creed origin shit here. Okay, there's a chest. Open? Hello? Where did we get? I need to get out of here. What did we get? This is fucking cool. I never done this in Assassin's Creed 3. I'm enthralled right now. Still never played an Uncharted game. Owned them all. Even the spin-off. Never, never played them. Own them for PS4 even, too. I have no excuse to not play them. I own them for PS3 and PS4. What are you doing? Slide underneath there, you idiot. Boxes run! Ah, oh. Yeah, you should have ran faster. Told him to run. That's one of the best co-op versus AI well, Yeah. I don't have anyone to play co-op stuff with. I don't have any friends. I can't even get Darkwater to play Battlefield with me. <laughs> He's too busy cutting down trees in New World. I love the new Battlefield. Yeah, it's out now. I had early access to it. But yeah, it's it's out to the public now. I love it. Be I like playing the portal. Uh, I like playing the portal mode, which allows me to play Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3. Um, and it lets me choose like servers. Like I like to play hardcore mode, and by default you don't you can't play hardcore mode just by like a quick play or just playing into a, a conquest by going to the uh, servers and find a hardcore server. But yeah, I've played a ton of 1942 on uh, the new Battlefield. I've probably put more time into Battlefield 1942 than Battlefield 2042.
I haven't ventured into Bad Company 2 yet. Yeah, I, I very much enjoy the new uh, the new Battlefield. Only on Hardcore, though. I hate, I hate normal mode of it. Normal mode takes too many bullets to kill people. It's still fun. It's a very limited uh, arsenal, obviously, but it's still a very fun game. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach, but that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Hmm. That Kenway, Kenway's uh, robes. Yo, what up, Mo? Mo is probably very confused as to why I'm awake right now at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah i love hardcore mode uh, i took a six and a half hour nap and woke up at midnight basically so i am very awake <laughs> I am very awake right now. I woke up at midnight, watched some TikTok, made a sandwich, made some coffee, and here we are. We've been streaming for four hours now. For those that don't know why Mo would be confused, we have the Tiny 10 in eight hours. <laughs> Gunner. Better watch your ass, dear. sent me like four the other day and I watched them. Of course. What does she like? I was thinking I some dad jokes gift. earlier today. I really do not know. I sent a bunch to Darkwater, oh, but he never, I don't right. think he ever watched Let them. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. I send them to you directly in the app now. Easier. That's a dead raccoon there. Dude, my algorithm is all over the place in TikTok. It's so good. Although I did have to, like... I did have to go through and prune some shit that I kept getting. Because TikTok, for some reason, thinks I want to use it for news, and I... <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I appreciate people's opinions on political matters, but... Uh, yeah, I'll keep it at that. I don't want to hear them. Uh, <laughs> so, like, with the whole, like, Rittenhouse thing, I was like, I don't want to see any of this shit on my TikTok. So I had to go through and literally just, like... Don't show me any more stuff about this like 42 times. So I just do not give a shit. And I like, I, I use TikTok to get away from the fucking news, like not to look at it more. 
the horror TikTok. Nice. Nice. I'm stuck in... I'm stuck in, um... Um... I don't know how to describe it. It's not like Karen TikTok, but like... Not like Karen TikTok, but like the, those types of TikToks where like people just like fucking roast Karens and Richards Prudence. and stuff like that. Good day, Connor. I'm stuck in Norris that, that to realm right now. A woman. What do you women like in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Wait, I might open up my TikTok right fancies? now. Best not the safe first thing now. I get is... Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Well, the first thing I get is scary NFL hits part five. I have a lot of a lot of sports pop up my algorithm too. I watch a lot of sports on TikTok. I don't like any, like, that's the thing, though. Like, I hardly like any videos. It's just, like, Crazy and I just, Crazy and I have shared so many videos with each other that, like, it's just my, my our, 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 our algorithms are probably just absolute, just asinine right now. Like, I'm sure, like, some TikTok dev is, like, looking at our algorithm and just being like, what the fuck is wrong with these two people? <laughs> Oh, that's ready to fight more wolves. Next. I definitely have kink and horde horror talk too once in a while. I don't usually get now. those too often though. Like the the kink and horror talks, I don't get too terribly often. I do get the occasional one here and there, but never. It's not. It's not a. It's not a common occurrence. Most of my stuff now is people getting hurt, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, <laughs> Boot Snatch's girlfriend does the same thing. Like she'll send me a video, and like I've like she'll send me the video, and I'm like I literally just watched this video on my fucking news feed, and then she'll send me the same one. I'm just like, God damn it. Yeah, there have been times where you sent me a video, and I'm just like, oh, that's pretty funny, haha. <laughs> And then like I scroll through like my, my TikTok later in the day, and I get the exact same video again. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, people getting hurt are some of my favorite TikToks. Like, that's the biggest reason I subscribe or, like, I use TikTok is, like, I, I like Fail Army stuff so much. Like, I love watching people get hurt. It's funny. Like, <laughs> I don't care. It's funny. When I get hurt, it's, it's funny. Yeah, big fan of that kind of stuff. My favorite ones... My favorite ones are, uh... This is gonna sound awful, but my favorite ones are when, like, the kids get hurt. Like, when, uh... Like, a kid gets smoked in the face by, like, a Nerf ball or something. Or, like, a kid's riding his bike and, like, crashes into a slide. Like, that shit, to me, is just hilarious. Or like the kids riding like one of those like motorized like toy jeeps and like runs over his sibling. God damn, it's so good. I need to go up on that cliff. Yeah, I'm trying very hard to get up on this cliff. I can fight more wolves probably. How the fuck do I get up here? Jesus Christ. So 
always easier to get up than it is to get or to get down than it is easy to get up. Yeah, dude, Phil Collins in the air tonight. Oh my god, that one that one cracks me up every time I see it. Kid crashes into the garbage cans to the beat of the drum for Phil Collins. That's so good. Alright, can I just fast travel up here? Because fuck this. What? <sighs> All right, well. She's not getting her fucking flowers. Like, I even like Phil Collins, too. That's the that's the best part about it. Like, I'm a big fan of Phil Collins. It's just the fact that that's a thing just makes me laugh even more. I, said also, I also send a lot of questionable TikToks as well. Is there a... Oh, that's the hunter. I thought that was the hunting society thing. Like, why is there a hunting society at the homestead? I usually don't send any horror or king talks, I find, that unless I find them kind of... Unless they're funny ones. But like I said, I don't get them too often. I also don't get out of my way to search for them either. They kind of just pop up on my my feed. But yeah, TikTok, give me people getting hurt and dad jokes, and I am in heaven on TikTok. Mono's all about the jokes that I like. He loves the same jokes that I do. Especially when it comes to talking about... Uh, Uh, was it penguin puns? Was that, I think it was the Amazing Penguin episode. Where I just made penguin puns for like 20 minutes. That shit was funny. I was like in tears laughing. The penguin puns were too good, man. They're... I just want to climb up this fucking cliff. Like, why? Why is this so hard to do? Can I climb right here? Nope. I don't understand why it's so hard to get up on this cliff. Or watch your ass, dear. Like, what's the point of coming up here? Nothing. So I can climb up this. Hey, la, 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 la. Nope. Oh, this is AIDS.
Oh, got a trinket out of it. And imagine being able to fast travel, how great that would have been. You're getting stuck on in the air. Assassin's Creed, the 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 stuckening what this entire remaster has been so far. Just get stuck on everything. Climb onto the branch, dummy. Like, I need to go this way. No, I can't because I'm blocked off by two fucking trees. See, this is so fucking AIDS. Get on to the fucking piece of wood. You would think there would just be an easy way up via like a tree or something. Oh look, a wolf. Fantastic. Yama. Yeah, I'm killing cool another 82 wolves in a minute again. Can I climb up that rock face right there? Angry. Well, I guess you can't. Okay, well, I thought about that too hard. Like every other rock face you can't climb up, but why would I think to climb up this one? Stupid. Are you fucking serious? Yama. Paint is always the day after it. Yeah, well, that's on you, alright? That is on you. You know what we you know what we gotta do in a few hours. I ate a kebab last night just in case and no is that is that the is that the secret to not having hangovers is eating a kebab and if i would have known i would have if i would have known that i would have done that years ago back when i used to actually drink sometimes Yeah, ye. It's a female elk. Quick, Mo, how do you know the difference between a female and a male elk? This will be on the test later. Oh. 
Calma. Mel L cast I mean, that is one way of knowing. But sometimes you can't see the dick and balls when, when they're running. Yeah, there you go. The males have antlers and the females do not. Same with deer. How do you know? But you know what species we can't do that for? Caribou. Does the male and female caribou have antlers? I'm at the green spot here. What am I supposed to be doing? Well, the guy's in the outhouse. We're gonna talk Chris, to him on the shitter. Are you in there? I don't have antlers. Do you have antlers? Uh, we. Oh, I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? He's just taking a poop, Connor. It's fine. Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? Doesn't seem right. I have like 30 hours into the hunter. I, I like the game a lot. It's my it's my relaxing game. It's it's my it's my I'm going to perch here for a while and just play the game game yeah it's, it's an interesting game because it has like a story associated with it for each reservation you go to it has a story associated with this so where there's like an actual like quest line to it and there's like leveling like perks and whatnot to it as well so it actually has a pretty in-depth uh um thing to it but also at its core fundamental you're just hunting so like you have to just understand a little bit how to hunt like the ai is pretty dumb don't get me wrong like it's not a one-to-one -one hunting game the ai is just that they're dumb like you can shoot you can shoot an animal and then like 10 seconds later they'll come right back to that to that spot like they're just they're stupid but um hey connor how about a quick game of balls I love playing with balls. Um, but I mean, it's a, it's a good game for what it is. You get perks, like you can see like the trophy hey, range of an animal. Of uh, you can get like better navigation as like where they're running. You can, um, you can get like better reload times and stuff like that. Uh, since I use scent blocking quite a bit, cause I usually sit in a tripod. Um, I see you, are you can get some like extra then. stuff with like scent blocking and calls oh, and whatnot. Uh, we're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bold pitch so he could beat me at something. Still can't though, can you, Terry? I was winning till Connor came along. And then you have level sure skills as well were. too. So you have like a skill tree that you can go down as well. There's like three different trees. All right, what's the name of the game here? What am I supposed to? What am I aiming at? What am I supposed to do in this game? This game sucks. I'm so confused. Oh, tactical camera. This bocce ball? Oh, it says bocce ball.
Eating up. I need to stop hitting the damn ball. He's on fire. Puts the pressure on. Yeah, I play it a lot like before I go to bed. Well, that was a good good throw. He won. Or is it you played to a certain amount of points? I don't remember how botch balls played anymore. Congratulations. Let's see if we can skim mass this a little bit. Vacation after today? I wish I could vacation. Oh, what the fuck, man? I have a three day, three day, four day weekend next weekend. Pretty stoked for that. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. I am happy with that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Feels good to be ahead. What? Oh. Cheated. We call that. We call that cheating. Oh, that's a terrible throw. Wild shot. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> pet, pet and Kiwi? What the fuck is that? What is pet and Kiwi? This is bocce ball. You guys call it wrong. It's called bocce ball. I'm pretty sure this is bocce ball. I really don't play ball games all that much in my life. All I know is I have two points. Should do. And that my ball is touching his ball. that I don't like that chat <laughs> thank you all I know is I have to get the big ball close to the little ball <laughs> that's all I know I've played I, pl I have played that game before I'm pretty sure it's botch ball over here I, I have played that game before, IRL. I'm kind of good at it too. Not amazing, but I can usually hold my own.
Oh, so many homestead pictures. When do I get my fucking blacksmith? That's the real question we're asking right now is when do I get my blacksmith? Someone's expecting a baby. Botch ball in English, okay. I was, I'm pretty sure it was botch ball. You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. That's what that noise was Just last night. a slight problem, however. There's no doctor for miles. Well, then we should find one. Well, we're finally getting a doctor. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. Old Boston. Yeah, I'm not much of a, a lawn game person. I guess I've played bocce ball. Um, I've played bocce ball. I've played ladder golf. Which, if you don't know what ladder golf is, ladder golf is you have a... You have a rope with two balls tied to the end to each end of the rope. You have and you have three of them. Basically, think of them as um, um, what are those things that you whip around and throw at people's ankles to tie them up? I don't remember what that weapon is called, but you can kind of think of them like that. Um, not a lasso, no. It's an actual weapon with like balls that are on there to like make it weighted and you throw them at ankles to like trip them and tie and like lock up the legs. I can't remember the name of the weapon now. But uh, it's not like a bowl, it's not a bola, but it's something along those lines. But um, is it a bola? You don't know what a bola is. Bola is a piece of rope with two weights tied to each end of it. Um, not a, no. Jesus Christ, I didn't say anything about spikes. Um, and I said a weapon you throw. You don't throw a mace. Um, but uh, it's it's essentially like a bola where you have a ball rope and a ball and then you have um then on ladder golf you have three three well lad ladders i guess three pegs and you have to throw the bola onto the pegs and each peg is worth different points the bottom peg being worth three two and then one i've, I've played a lot of ladder golf in my life Corn, played a lot of cornhole as well. A lot of cornhole. I've probably played more cornhole than anything else when it comes to like lawn games. I don't know what cornhole is. I don't know what like the actual name of the thing is. I we call it cornhole. But you have two. You line you line up two people on each side. You have you have teams. You have two teams. One person from each team goes to each side of the the pitch essentially you have like these ramps with a hole cut out the top of them 
and uh, you have like these sacks that are filled with like corn kernels or rice or whatever it may be. You take them, you throw them, and the goal is to get it into the hole. Uh, if you get it into the hole, it's like two or three points. If you get it onto the ramp, it's one point. But if the other person gets onto the ramp, they could deduct points and stuff like that. So. But yeah, we, we call it cornhole here. Because the bags are made from corn Dr. corn White. kernels and no. you throw it into He's a hole. He's the drunken sodder on the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. All this ire on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. Find the doctor. Yeah, I've played a lot of like I said, a lot of cornhole. Leave the doctor alone. Right, can we stop hitting me, please? I'm, I'm trying to fucking block. Jesus Christ. There. Break his neck. Shatter the kneecap, that's what I like to see. Break his fucking cranium. Yo, what's up, guy? I guess. Hey, doing, bro? Dr. White. Yes? My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you toss a, a sack of corn kernels into a hole. Me? I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White dead. No? I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence pregnant? Ha! The entire, it is the entire see. Game Boy block for GDQ. Maybe getting it's away the from Ultraman the block. Is exactly what I need. <laughs> It's the Ultraman block. Two points are okay. It is two points are going. I couldn't remember if it was two or three. Two points are going in. One point for getting it onto the actual uh, landing platform. Yet. Then, if you get it onto the landing platform and your opponent does as well, then uh, then you deduct points. The active Game Boy. I mean, the Game Boy community is semi like, like I, I always bitch about this on the podcast. But like, if you just looked at the submission list, like you look at the submission list of like all the consoles submitted, there's usually a shit ton of Game Boy games being submitted. And it's not your normal like Pokemon and whatever else. Like there are some like games on that on that submission list that don't get spotlight ever. But yet somehow they pick one game out of like the thirty two Game Boy submissions. Pisses me off. Alright, what do we got for stockpile? Let's buy the apples. We got your cowhide, I'll take that. Fresh water, I'll take that. Pork. More wool. Ooh, more ash lumber, finally. Just the charcoal. I submitted Shack Fu and I didn't get in. I was pretty upset. I only submit Shack Fu to GDQ now. I'm only submitting Shack Fu to GDQ until it gets in. I'm pretty sure I'm shadow banned from submitting games though. I 
I have a strong hunch that I'm shadow banned from Smitty Games. Because, uh, Merkel doesn't like me. No, they mad because I called Merkel out on his incompetence of running a convention. Oh yeah, we're dropping major frames right now. Twitch shit the bed? 